What's up backgammon fans, I'm Mark Olsen. In this video, I'm gonna give you a tour of my five, soon to be six, luxury backgammon boards. And we're starting out here with the Chris Lloyd. It's an American original. It is a very special board and a very special brand. Uh, they have been uh, creating backgammon boards since 1948. So this is the oldest backgammon company that I know of. Uh, I think probably the oldest backgammon producer in the world at the moment. Um, this particular board is, I would say, 15 years old now. Bought to me from a friend who was traveling to New York and brought this board back to me. I think it was around $250, $250 back then. The characteristic thing about the Chris Lloyd boards is that they use cork as a material. So the surface area here is cork. And uh, this is uh, it's a brilliant material to be honest because the, the friction between the checkers and the surface is is optimal. I would say it's like the the, the checkers slide perfectly on the cork board, and it's quite cool. It has this vintage look. I love the look of the cork. Yeah, I'm really really fond of this material cork. I know it's kind of unorthodox. It's the only brand that makes the cork boards. Um, but that gives, gives them the distinction, I would say. And uh, the sound you get from rolling the dice on the cork is also quite nice. It's a little bit harder material, so you don't get as much of the bounce, but you get this very nice sound. I would compare this board to a, uh, a 1970s Corvette Stingray. A classic board, never goes out of fashion, ages well, and it's just such a stylish uh, board and a stylish car. It's not my preferred board if I play a tournament match or money game or something like this, but just in to have it in my collection and sometimes bring it out and take a game on the good old Chris Lloyd is nice. Next up, we have the we have the Audi R8. This is a uh, Brazilian Gamal board made from uh, the Brazilian board maker Paulo Venancio or Venuncio and um, from Belo Horizonte in Brazil. And this is such a cool board. First of all, it's a prize board. I won it in Nordic Open 2014. So it's an extra special board to me, but it's such an amazing board to play on. You can never get tired of playing on this board. The checkers, solid plastic checkers, 50 millimeter checker, so they're big in diameter and quite short in the height. It's only one centimeter in the height dimension. So they sit here on the board as these wide, big checkers. It has the perfect dimension in my opinion. Look, you can stack 11 checkers. This is what I like. Gives a better overview. It doesn't require too much stretching to move the checkers on the other side of the board. Perfect dimensions for backgammon. And the big checkers really give the luxury feel. Then you got this surface material, which is a kind of a synthetic uh, wool or something like this. And I'm not really sure how to characterize it, but the material for backgammon is actually brilliant because it has almost no friction, yet yet enough friction to stop the checkers when you move them. So you don't get this, this continuous sliding motion where the checkers continue to move after you let go. So uh, I think this is a really, really, high-end bagama board and price to quality ratio i think it's one of the best boards out there the chris lloyd is like 250 dollars uh, maybe a little bit more this one is like six seven hundred dollars so beautiful sound beautiful bounce it's a little bit hard on the surface but i mean i think this is uh probably the best cheapest high-end luxury uh board you can find on the market next up over here we got the Porsche 911. So this is a Gamma board made by Volker Wenzlaff from Germany. He picked up the tradition or the heritage line of the exclusive boards from the players from the 70s, 80s and 90s. They might remember the exclusive boards. They went out of production around the late 90s, I, I believe. Uh, I think his name was Werner uh, Dresen. Maybe, I'm not really sure. I don't remember. I think it was Werner Dresen, the creator of exclusive. If it's not, I'll correct it in the, in the uh, comment section. Um, so Volker Wenzlaff started making these boards in mid zeros because a friend of his uh, 
encouraged him to do it. So he's basically made a replica of the old exclusive boards, except he made them better, in my opinion. So in the exclusive boards, you had the sa not the same material. So this material is, is like high-end luxury wool material. And he uses three millimeter wool rather than two millimeters in the old exclusive boards. So it just gives the perfect bounce and sound. It's just that it's not too hard, it's not too soft. It's just that perfect balance. Uh, we got the checkers, again, a little bit slim checkers, only one centimeter, 10 millimeter in the height, 45 millimeter, millim millimeter diameter, uh, which is sufficient. This is a special custom made board actually, because I wanted Falke to make me a Gamana board in a smaller dimension than usual. So look at this, it's 45 millimeter checkers and I can only stack 11 checkers, which means that the the whole, uh, the size of the whole suitcase when I close it up is actually small enough that I like to travel with it. And that's the, one of the main problems with backgammon boards. It's a Porsche 911 because it's just optimal in every single choice of design here. I mean, all the materials, the, you have like everything, you got this little flap here to open up for the dice. You, you can, you got the dice holder here. You have the aluminum plaque here with the numeration. So I have a personalized 704. And look at this cube as well. I love this cube, this solid uh, metal cube with the carvation. Uh, it's not optimal for backgammon streaming uh, when you're recording live matches, uh, but it's just so cool. It's such a cool little detail. Another detail about this board that uh, some super fans might recognize it. It was the board from the UBC Contender Tournament in Gibraltar 2019. Oh, sorry, 2020. We used this board because usually we would use another board, but it didn't arrive. So we used this one instead. And luckily I had ordered it in more or less back in Galaxy colors. Uh, so, so that's a little extra. Um, yeah, this board, it, it's just, it's a 911. You, you can play on it every single day for the next 30 years and it will not let you down, doesn't need any maintenance. All the, all the materials are just so optimized. From an engineerical point of view, this is almost the perfect backgammon board, I would say. So amazing board, Gamma board. Let's go over here to the next board. Over here we have uh, another special board. This is actually a recent addition to my collection. Uh, this is an, a handmade FM Gammon board that I bought in Istanbul earlier this year when I went to visit for the big Istafta tournament. It's an FM Gammon board. Uh, FM is an abbreviation of Fuad and Mete, who in 2008 made this brand and they've evolved into becoming amazing board makers. Look at this beautiful bear off tray out here. I mean, look at the details and the materials. This is an Aston Martin, in my opinion. You don't drive an Aston Martin every day. You take it out in the weekends for special occasions. It takes a little bit more maintenance costs than, uh, than a Porsche 911. Uh, but you know, it's a, from a design point of view and the experience of riding this board is just, in my opinion, perfection almost. The materials of these big, thick plastic checkers, by the way, finger disc checkers, which I think goes super well to the wooden and more vintage style look of the board. Uh, that's when you want the finger disc checkers. And look, listen to this sound. Wow, you know, the wooden frame and the soft fabric surface is just the perfect combination in my opinion. And we got the cube here, they made a cute, cute little cube where the cube is actually also a, a dice holder. So we got the dice and uh, the same goes with the dice. L listen to the sound that the dice make when it touches the, the frame of wood. In my opinion, this is my own personal preference. You know, I can see that the gammon, of course, is better in many ways, but this is just my taste. I really love this board and I love the materials. Uh, James Bond would, would choose this board, probably. And last 
we move over here, we got my Turkish, traditional Turkish tabla board. And if you guys saw the video where, where I was playing in uh, the Grand Bazaar in Istanbul, I, I challenged the local champion and I won this board. So this is an, a Helena board. Uh, Helena is a family business from Turkey. I think they've been making backgammon boards and all kinds of wooden products for uh, 25 years or more. So it's quite an experienced company. And uh, this is not the same luxury feel um, or professional feel that you get from my other boards. The other boards I could play at big tournaments or money games. This board I wouldn't. This is a holiday board in my opinion. So this is, uh, this is a Mazda MX-5. It's good for a rental for a couple of days. People still turn their heads to, to see you when you drive on the street, but it's not something that you can compare with a Porsche 911 or something like this. So let's see this board. Okay, so it's got wooden checkers, very small checkers, wooden surface, so it's wood on wood, which makes an awful lot of noise. But at least the friction is good. Another thing about the tabla boards, is uh, the dimension of the board. So look at this, you can st stack, I don't know how many checkers, almost almost 15 checkers in, in the height dimension. So it's very long compared to, to the width dimension, um, which I don't really like too much. I prefer to have a little bit wider board, a little bit lower board, and then bigger checkers, of course. But this is a holiday board. It's not comparable to the other boards. Um, so, I mean, I still like this board, pull it out sometimes. It's good if you want to play uh, a family member or something like this. And, it, and it's beautiful, you know, the, the detail of the wooden, uh, the wooden arts that they put into these boards. It's, it's really, really beautiful. So I, I like the board, um, but again, oh yeah, you see here you have a chess board on the other side with beautiful details. So it's, it's pretty cool, but uh, of course it's not a professional backhand board to the same extent as, as my other boards. Then I have a sixth six board on its way, the Backgammon Galaxy Neptune board. So the Galaxy team have dis, uh, designed a brand new luxury board. And uh, I'm really looking forward to this board hitting the market. Of course, we'll be making videos about it. We've chosen top quality of all of the materials, the frame, the checkers, the surface, everything. We found a brilliant board maker to produce them for us. And the videos will be coming really soon about the, the Neptune board. Then we've got, uh, of course, I have to mention my backgammon books. You can buy them on Amazon. We've got From Basics to Badass, the best-selling backgammon book of the last decade. This is uh, a book about all the basics. So if it's your first ever backgammon book, I recommend this. Then we've got uh, Pure Strategy. It's a bit more advanced, a bit more complicated. Uh, it's uh, also a bit more philosophical. Um, but of course, if you are backgammon aficionado, you must. It's a must read. And then we got the newest one, also a best sell, best seller. Cube like a boss, intuition, patterns, and strategy. Uh, and that's just a book about cube action. So if you haven't bought them already, go to Amazon, get them now. So that's it. That was uh, my backgammon collection. Take care, guys. See you next time. Say bye. Say bye. Backgammongalaxy.com.